Robert Franz, who are you going to draw? A black cat sleeping. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're using markers, but you can use whatever you have. You also need some paper and, and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yeah. Because we're using our markers to draw and color with, we're also using marker paper to draw on. This helps our markers last a lot longer than using yes. regular printer paper. Okay, let's first start by drawing our black cat's head. And we're going to draw it over here in the middle of our paper, but towards the left so that we have room for the body. So we're going to draw an oval shape. I'm going to draw it kind of big. Whoa, that's really big. <laughs> yes, that's awesome. I love how big it is. All right, now let's draw the little face inside of our oval, our head shape. We're going to draw the little V for our cat's nose. Then we're going to draw the top of our nose. And then we're going to draw a line down for the mouth. And then let's make our black cat happy. Maybe she's having good dreams. Oh, I like that you're making your smile even more. Okay, now let's draw her eyes or his eyes closed and sleeping. We're going to draw two letter U's. Oh, I love that you added eyelashes and the shape of your cat's head is different than mine. That's okay, right? They're both turning out awesome. The most important thing is to have fun and practice. Yes, to have fun and practice. Remember, it's okay if your drawings look different too. All right, should we keep going? Yay. Now let's draw our little cat's ears. We're going to draw an upside down letter V on the left and also the same upside down letter V on the right. And then let's draw a smaller one inside to finish the ears. And what else do we need to draw on the cheeks? Whiskers. Yeah, whiskers. Let's draw three little whiskers on the left and also on the right. Okay, now let's draw the rest of our cat. We're going to draw one arm underneath her head. We're going to draw a sideways letter U. And you could start right here and draw it going this way and then coming back. Oh, that's so cute. And then we're going to draw her other paw over here. I'm going to draw it kind of coming out from the side like that, even right where the whiskers are. Yes, and then on this one, let's draw her little paw. We're going to draw a circle that's about this big. And then we could draw little, three little ones for her little toes. Yes, okay. Oh, and we could also draw two little lines on this foot. Next, we're going to draw her back leg and we're going to draw the same shape, the same letter U right here. We're going to draw it back here. So we're going to draw it right about here. Maybe I'm going to draw it coming down like this and then back. And you can start right here if you want and then draw it coming forward around and then yes, that's awesome. And then we could also draw the two little toe lines that, like we did for the front. Okay, now let's draw her body. We're going to draw starting here. We're going to curve around like this and we're going to connect for her back into her ear. <laughs> That's awesome. And what is she missing over here? Her tail. Her tail. Let's draw it tucked under her leg. We're going to start right here and we're going to curve around like this right next to her leg. And then we can curve in and connect. Oh, I love how big her tail is. It's really cute. And we did it. We finished drawing our little black cat sleeping, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yes, we still need to color it. This part will speed up and we'll fast forward. So remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings. You ready to speed things up? Yay! Olivia, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our black cat sleeping and I especially love yours. Thank you. I like yours too. Oh, thanks. And we didn't even color our cats black. We actually colored it a dark gray, which yes. is kind of a trick. Instead of coloring it black, we decided to do this so that you could see all the details. If we colored our cats actually black, we wouldn't be able to see any of the eyes or the mouth. It would just look like a shadow. What else could our art friends add to their drawings? A background. A background, yeah. You could add a spooky, maybe a witch background. Or more kittens. Oh, more kittens, that would be really cute. You could add a witch hat or even a pumpkin. Oh, maybe even a ghost that's sleeping next to our cat. <laughs> We hope you have fun doing a black cat. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun. I'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>